Uh, some of you know, some of you don't know. Um, I have an issue in my life that I have to deal with. On Tuesday, I have to report to prison for a year. And I'm going to be doing six months in prison in California and then six months in a halfway house because God was gracious enough to pull me out of a very, very bad situation. And I'm grateful to God that I only got one year. So I'm not ashamed of going to prison because I'm going to prison for Christ. Amen. And those that know me know that I've told everyone I'm not going to prison. I'm going to a new mission field. So I'm asking you to pray for me, for my family. Yes. Because God knows why he allowed this to happen to me. I don't know. I have no idea why God would allow an innocent man to go to prison, but I know that God does what he wants, and he knows more than I know. I will go and I will do my time, but I'm going to go do it for the kingdom and the glory of God. Amen. And I ask you all to pray for me, pray yes. for my family, that God would sustain them. But more so, pray that I go to prison on Wednesday. I report on Wednesday for one year. Pray that I'll be back here next Sunday. Because I have a God that is greater than man. And I have a God that has a glorious future for those that will call upon his name. I will do what God has called me to do. If he calls me to do a full year, I'll do a full year. Because I know my God is greater than my circumstances. So I ask you all to keep us in prayer. And I want to thank this church who has supported me through my six years of waiting to go to trial. Because they couldn't find anything to try me on. <laughs> and for six years, this church has stood by me and my family and prayed for us. And I want to thank you all for that. And for those that don't know me, uh, just pray for the crazy man going to prison because I am going to serve God and that prison's in trouble. Because the glory of God's coming to town. Amen. Let's stand up and uh, finish the.